Hello, everyone. When you're putting call to action buttons on your website, whether it's just for uh, creating leads, more new patients, or sales if you've got an e-commerce store, do you think very carefully about the description that you give to that call to action button? Many people use click here or see more. Um, that's not necessarily the best way to describe uh, what the experience is that uh, the user is going to get when they click the button. So it's called a click promise. And so I'm just going to share my screen with you now about a test. It's a pretty simple test, but it demonstrates the effect on your revenue, your sales, your increase in leads, new patients, etc. when you change and test the description of your call to action buttons. So let me share my screen with you now. And uh, you will see here um, a test uh, on the left, which I'll just in, uh, enlarge for you so you can see it. Uh, it was it was where they used the word reserve. It's an online storage website. Well, effectively, that you book the storage online, I should say. Um, and so, therefore, the uh, text here is clearly reserve. On the uh, the right, um, they are testing book now, which is a very traditional internet marketing get you know action taken immediately. Um, and, and they did try some other uh, descriptions as well, um, but it didn't actually uh, uh, perform as well as these two. So the question is, what actually created more sales? So if I just show you the results, it was uh, reserve that clearly won. And, um, and you can see it increased reservations by over 12%. Um, and that's pretty uh, significant, depending on the value um, of the sale to this particular company. And so um, what's the takeaway here? Make sure that you describe the experience that's absolutely targeted to your audience, as opposed to using generic um, descriptions that so many people do. Um, this may seem obvious to some people, but when you look at websites as I do uh, every day of the week and over the past 10 years, um, it's really not actually used that often. So uh, test and measure your website. If you need any help with that, contact, contact us at info at andrewredwards.com. Thanks for watching and we'll speak to you soon.